Good morning, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. This is morning Pilates flow. This is a perfect class to wake up the body and start your day. You can also use this class as a daily routine to start your day. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're gonna stand tall, half your feet parallel, arms long by the side, find your utmost tallest position. We're going to inhale. Lifting the arms up to the sky, looking up to the sky. As we exhale, pressing the arms down, allow the spine to grow tall. And again, inhale. Reaching up tall. Exhale, pressing down as you lengthen the spine. Two more times, in breath. Exhale, sending yourself a gratitude. To start a brand new day. Last one, inhale. Giving thanks to the world for the new opportunity for a brand new day. Nice and tall, I'm going to turn myself to the side, take an in-breath, softening the knees. As we exhale, roll down the spine, gently articulating, support your hands on your thigh here. Going into a deep flexion here as much as you feel comfortable this morning. Inhale. Exhale as we roll up the spine. Take yourself up to the upright position. Again, two more times in breath. Exhale, nod the head down, softening at the knees, rolling down the spine. Hands on your thigh. In breath. Exhale, rolling up through the spine. Lifting up nice and tall. One last in breath. Exhale as we roll down. Now we're going to stay here, down here, softening up the knee here, hands on your thigh. We're going to inhale, extending the back, going into like a cat stretch into extension. Exhale like a wave, we round the back. We inhale, we're just going to keep that spine flowing here. To extension, exhale, we round. Inhale, keep it smooth, keep it flowing. Exhale, you round. Two more times, inhale, like a little massage to the spine. Exhale, last one, in breath. Exhale, we round and then just stay here. Drop your arms down to the floor. I'm just going to turn myself to the side here. Now, I'd like you to elongate the spine. Try to find that long spine position. Your knees are still softened here. Fingertips onto the floor, neck is long. We're going to do a little prancing with the legs. So we're going to bend the right knee, straighten the left, and switch. And switch. Just keep breathing. And switch. Switching the legs. The heels stay down on the floor, and we bend, and we stretch, and we bend, and we stretch. One more each side, and we stretch, and lengthening both legs as much as you can. Now we're going to soften the left knee. Bring the left hand down to the floor, or fingertips to the floor. Open the right arm, we're going to rotate the body and bring the right arm to the sky. And we're going to stay here in breath, finding the length. Exhale, finding more twist. Inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, one last, in breath. Exhale, let it go, drop the arms down and extend the left leg, softening the right knee. Left arm open and rotate. Inhale, find the length. Exhale, create more twist. Inhale, create more space in the spine. Exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, drop it down. And then from here, I wanted to roll the spine back up to standing. All right, I'm going to take myself to the mat. So standing in the front of your mat here. Again, take an in breath. Exhale, we roll down. Take yourself all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands down to the floor. And I want you to go into a deep squat here. 
bottom down to the floor. And then take your hands behind the bottom, sit the pelvis down, take your feet a little bit more forward. So lifting through the spine, hands underneath the thigh. Exhale, into a C curve. Then we roll back, your arms are still behind the thigh, your chest is open, in breath. Exhale, deflection through the spine, bring your body over your pelvis, inhale, lifting up through the spine. Exhale, as we round, and we roll back, articulating the spine away from the thigh, in breath. Exhale, recruit the abs a little deeper, bring your body over your pelvis, then we lift the spine up tall. Two more times, exhale, and pull back, roll back, opening the chest, exhale, rounding forward, and then we lift the spine up. Last one here, exhale, we round. Then we roll back. Now I like you to stay in that chest lift position and then bring your feet closer towards your pelvis. Again, still in a parallel position. Arms by the side, head down, ready for the pelvic curl here. Take an in breath. As we exhale, deep abdominal contraction to imprint the lower spine. And then we articulate the spine up. Engaging the hamstrings and finishing that lift with the glutes. Reaching the arms to your feet, spreading your toes down, lifting the arch of your feet. And then we exhale like a melting chocolate. We roll the spine down and release the pelvis back. Take an in-breath. Exhale as we articulate the spine up. Lifting up through the pelvis, engaging the glutes and the abdominals in-breath. Exhale again, lengthening through the neck and like a melting chocolate, you articulate the spine down, release the pelvis. Now we're going to add the arms. Exhale as we roll up, right up to the bridging position, in breath. As you roll down, lift the arms and then take your arms overhead like a big yawn, in breath. Exhale, as we roll the pelvis up, we take the arms up and we bring them down to the floor. In breath. Exhale, we roll the spine down and the arms go overhead. Let's do one more time. Exhale. And we roll up, pressing the arms down, lift the pelvis and we roll the spine down, the arms glide or float over your head and release. Slide your arms up to a T position, have your feet slightly wider than the pelvis, maybe about your mat width apart, and let's drop the legs to the side for your hip rolls, head over to the left, and then come back to center, over to the other side as we in-breath, exhale, inhale, exhale, in-breath, exhale, Last one each side. Exhale. And the last. Exhale. Center. Walk your feet closer to each other. Float one leg up to the table position. And then the second one up. Squeezing the thighs together for our spine to supine. Over to me as we inhale. Rotate your head over to the other side. Exhale. Center. Rotate the legs to the opposite side. Head. Turn in the opposite direction. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right, head to the left. Exhale, inhale, legs to the left, head to the right. Exhale, one more set, in breath. Exhale, last one, in breath. Exhale, center. Lower one foot down. Second leg down and interlace your hands behind your head. All right, let's go for the chest lift. We breathe out. We lift. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Can we lift the chest a little higher? Take your arms up, interlace, and come down as you exhale. Again. In breath, lift. And arms behind. And come down. And again, and we'll lift. 
and arms back and return last one please exhale we'll lift and arms back and come down now let's do that again exhale and inhale lifting now hold that new height stretch your arms forward like a prayer hands and rotate to me for your chest limit rotation exhale Inhale, center. Over other side. So we're thinking rotation and flexion at the same time. In breath. Exhale. Warming up our core. And center. And center. Two more sets. Last set. Come back to center. Grab the back of your thigh, lift the chest a little higher, turn your head to the right, center, left, center, release the arms, bring it behind you, and return your head down. Well done. Let's walk your feet a little bit more forward, and bring the legs together so you have a greater angle at the knee joint. Stretch your arms overhead. We're going to do modified roll up here. So we inhale as we lift the chest. You may grab the thighs if you like to, or keep the arms by the side. As we exhale, recruit the abdominal even more. Let's pull yourself up into the C curve. In breath. Exhale as we roll the spine away from your thighs. You may also grab the thighs if you need to, if you're feeling a little stiff this morning, and then take your arms overhead. And inhale, chest lift. Grab the thighs or just keep the arms long. Exhale, pull deep into the seeker. In breath. Exhale, roll the spine away. And arms overhead. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we hold. Exhale. And take your arms overhead. Again, inhale. Exhale. We lift, 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 lift. Now I'd like you to lengthen the spine. Reach your arms up to the sky. Reaching up tall as we inhale. And release your arms. Grab your chin just above your ankle, ready for a rolling like a ball. So we lock the legs nice and tightly with the arms. We balance that C curve positioned around your tailbone, gaze to the pelvis. Your feet are floating. As we inhale, we roll back. Exhale. Enjoy that little massage of the spine as we go through this rolling like a ball exercise. In breath, exhale, inhale. With control, we roll back and forth. The legs are staying in the same shape all the time. Two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale and stay. Tippy toes on the floor, open the thighs, lengthening the spine. Reach up, find that new extension. Breathe in. And exhale. Bring the legs together. Bring the feet up to a table position. Press your knee against your, your hands and the hands against your knees as you inhale. Exhale, I'd like you to pull the belly away. Away. Go into deflection and control motion of the articulation and bring your legs back to tabletop. Reach your arms up to the sky and return. Let's go for the hundreds. We exhale, we lift. We extend the legs straight. Hold an in breath and we go. Inhale. If straight leg is a little bit too challenging for you today, you may do it at a bent knee position or you can just have your feet down on the floor. Just find a position that is suitable for you this morning. And extend. And inhale. And exhale. And in breath. Three more sets. And in breath. Two more. Last one. 
and stay. Bend the knees, one foot down, second leg down, release the head down. I like you to stretch your legs out each corner or towards each corner of the mat and the arms too. So you are in a starfish-like position here. As we inhale, I like you to yawn the body. So we're going to stretch your right leg and the right arm away from each other. Exhale. Recover. Inhale, lengthen and yawn the left side of the body. Exhale. Recoil and recover. Again, inhale, stretch it. Stretch it. You can never stretch before. Exhale. Last one, left one, and the left side of arm and leg. Exhale. Let's do everything. Inhale, stretch the limbs away from your center. And recover. Two more times. Stretch it out. Get the kinks out of the body. Exhale. Recover. Last one. Inhale. And well done. Bring the feet in and then turn your body to the side for a quick chest opener. So we're going to interlace the hands behind your head and stack the legs together tightly and lifting the underneath waistline. So your obliques are working here. As we inhale, we're going to rotate the trunk back. Exhale. I enjoy this opening through the front of the chest. Inhale. One of my favorites. Exhale. Two more times. In breath. Exhale. Last one here. In breath. Exhale. And release. Help yourself up to your forearm for a side kick. You can bend the bottom knee. All right, so lengthening through the spine, recruit the underneath waistline, reach the top leg away, dorsiflex, and we go forward. Inhale. Find the length through the spine. And two more sets. Last set. And Hold, reach the up the top. I'm in the opposite direction with the back leg. We're gonna reach long, stretch it out for three, two, one, and release. Lift yourself up, reach the underneath arm, lengthen up to the sky, and a quick side bend and release. Let's go to the other side. We have our chest opener to start with. Stack the legs, interlace the hands. Lifting the underneath waistline and we inhale, we twist. Exhale. And we inhale. Again, in breath. Last one, in breath. Well done. And help yourself up. We're going to come up for the side kick, reaching through the spine, opening across the front of the chest, energy through the leg, dorsiflex, and we go. Hold the center tight. Two more sets. Last set. Reach, hold, stretch your arm in opposite direction, reach long, reach tall for three, two, one, and come back in. Help yourself up, reach the underneath arm up to the sky, and side bend over. Just a quick one, and release. Let's go into your front. Okay. So we're gonna do a little baby swan, bringing the forearm to the side of your body. Energy through the legs, parallel position, head is long. 
Opening across the front of the chest. As you exhale, we lift the abdominal wall. As we inhale, take a body to little baby swan. So you're gonna glide the shoulder blades and allow the upper back to come up into extension. And exhale. Again, inhale as you glide the shoulder blade, find the energy lifting from the tip of the head, the neck, upper, middle back. Exhale. Again, in breath, reaching, reaching, lifting. Last one. Inhale, reaching, lifting, lifting, and release. I like to stretch your arms forward. Right, float the head, keep the neck long here. Engaging the upper back for me, please. Let's do a modified swimming. So we're going to reach the right arm and the left leg. Exhale, left arm, right leg. Again, right arm, left leg. Left arm, reach long. And two more sets, right arm, Left arm, opposite arm and leg. Last one, each side. Very last one here. Well done. And release the head down. Bring your arms back on the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away. Use the belly. Get yourself into a rest position. Release the pelvis down. Shake the pelvis left and right as you breathe in. And you breathe out. And roll yourself up. Bring yourself to a quadruped position. We're almost there. Let's go to a quick cat stretch here. We breathe out as we flex the spine. And lengthening through the spine, take your upper body up into an extension. And exhale. We flex. And through neutral, inhale, arch. And through neutral, exhale, round. Again, like a wave. In the spine, we're just gonna go into flexion and extension. Let this be the last one, come back to center. I like it too. Side bend your body to the right side and then arch, look away and over to the left. So we're going to do a little circular movement here with the spine. So you're gonna look to the right, bottom and head to the right, and then arch the back, look up to the sky and over to the left. And again, two more times. Inhale, just keep breathing here. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and back to the center. Let's go to the other side, left side. And here we go, arch, and around, and arch, and around. If in doubt, I say just keep moving the spine. Don't let this confusion of the movement drift you away. And again, inhale, arch. Exhale, inhale, arch. Exhale, last one. Exhale, and I'm back to neutral. Tuck your toes under, lift the pelvis up to an upstretch position. Reaching tall to the tailbone and release the heel down. All right, lengthening through the spine, easy neck long or easy long neck. Now from here, let's do some prancing. We're gonna bend the right knee, the right heel comes off and then we switch and switch and switch, switch, enjoying that stretch alongside the back of the legs and the spine, one more each side. And bring both heels down, I like you to walk your feet, or not walk your hands, excuse me, towards your feet. And softening at the knee, and I like you to just dangle the body down. Find the easiness in the shoulder and the neck. Softening in the knees, in breath. Exhale, I like you to press the feet down, lifting the arch of the feet as you roll the spine up to that standing position again. Lifting the head. We inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, pressing the arms down, lifting the spine even taller. Again, two more, inhale. Exhale. 
Last one, inhale, I like you to bring your palms together and look up at your hands and then bring your palms and your hands down to the front of your chest. Inhale here, exhale and let it go. You can drop the arms. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.